Alpha Bravo from 207. 13 miles. Box one, box one. Oh, Jesus. Do 
Alpha Bravo from 207. 13 miles. Fox 1, Fox 1. Oh, Jesus.
Alpha Bravo from 207. 15 miles. Fox one, Fox one. Oh, Jesus. Bravo from 207. 15 miles. Fox one, Fox one. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another show tonight, or today, depending on where you are. This is your host, 81 Banana, and um, I am uh, kind of, uh, I was kind of busy, let's say, um, and the timer was um, just... Um, a little bit longer than uh, expected, just because um, I need to set up a little bit of things over here. I hope that you guys uh, didn't need to wait so long. Maybe we have a guest tonight in the virtual studio. Maybe we don't. Um, I don't know for now. Um, you're going to get surprised. Um, teams have started because uh, I was uh, quite busy uh with um setting up things um or something with the mission from my side i couldn't get in and the teams were more um uh, let's say uh, more faster and they just made to take off already uh while i was busy chatting with the organizer and so we just missed the takeoff and I'm terribly sorry for that. So, um, I'm going to go through the names in a bit that you see and know uh, who is flying to not and what uh, they are flying to not. But um, would love to check with you guys if everything is okay from sound perspective uh, do you hear everything well or not and then uh, i continue to go into detail so we have um kind of um uh, 60 seconds of delay um and what i'm saying uh gonna be with you um in 60 seconds so um, in case you write something in the chat, please be um, a bit patient with me. Uh, I will get back to you as soon as uh, I can read it and, and answer it. So um, let me see. 
everything is not working tonight the way it should very strange Okay, let me see if I can fix it or not. Okay, now mouse is working again. They're kind of weird. Okay, let's go to the F10 and get rid of these grids here and um, activate the air to air missiles and maybe go to satellite so that you can read the labels better um as you see the teams are getting into the combat zone let's go through them and see who is there and who is flying what so we have peyot red button brainiac godfather opa and cobra uh they're all uh, most of them oh we just we just missed someone um peyot is disconnected probably what? We lost Piot. Okay. I was about to say that there are four F-16s and two F-18s, but the number of F-16s has reduced itself to five, unfortunately. And on the other side, we have Fair 109, for me, Fair from now on, Parka, Lukovi, as always, Asper, Mustang 51, and Kestoy. And they are in F-15 Strike Eagle, Three F-18s here, and four F-18s and one F-16. So a mix of NATO aircrafts. They're getting to uh, the center of the combat zone, and um, it's going to be um, um, a high terrain, uh, as I can see it here. Uh, take care of chat a little bit. See everything is all right. Yeah, thanks, Big Puppy, for 5x5 five five on the stream. Thanks a lot. And um, I expect that the first Abram comes off the rail from F-15, which is here the, the case, but probably the blue team in that, uh, case G66 is gonna be prepared for it. We're gonna see that for whom it is. I see it from this perspective that is going kind of to either Brainiac or Red Button. Uh, I would say Brainiac. Brainiac also fires on MRAM um, long range uh, for my taste. Um, sometimes these things work so exchange of amrams they're not saving um they're very generous uh with that let's see where it goes okay um Kistler is already cold because this amram is already active so let's see if it's doing any harm or not we don't see the target because it is under the cloud layer but we see the missile the missile is still tracking and it's turning with the target losing energy we see the target flying away smoothly because this missile is not fast enough anymore so we're good we can go back and see what's going on here i don't like this uh uh, snow on top of the mountains uh, makes it a little bit hard to just read um, the labels. Uh, let's see if anything's happened here. So we have uh, still five on this side and six on the other side. So no casualties yet. Uh, people uh, testing each other, um, see how close then they can get. And 
what we see here, both teams are in a kind of grinder or chainsaw, uh, let's say, tactic, uh, where the the grinder is um, a bit bigger and, um, let's say, um, say in depth. And here we have a smaller grinder, I think, on, on this side. So um, a little bit um, faster. You see Cobra here is going to come back fast as soon as a, he has uh, gotten rid of uh, the M120. Um, he needs to find out uh, at any time that it's not a factor anymore because it's not following and you see that on your RWR. So come back and go behind uh, Opa to just uh, help him and uh, give him the support that he can uh, go cold as soon as he has a, a missile. So we see here um, it's a kind of uh, back and forth, but it's not that coordinated as uh, the blue team is doing at the moment. Um, another one from Red Button. Let's see if it is any help here. I don't think so. We see him um, over the hill flying away. And the missile is still following. He needs to do something. He needs to just pull a little bit of G as he's doing now. Otherwise, this missile could be problematic. He's doing that in the right time. So he is good. So let's see if I can get into that terrain again because the labels are horrible. I don't like uh, the Caucasus map for streaming. Um, it's very difficult um, to recognize things. So I think we are still five versus six. Exactly. Nothing has happened. The blue team is a little bit more aggressive doing um, smaller grinders. He are, they are in the center of the bubble and uh, or, or combat zone as we have in this case. We have new people in, in this stream in the chat. Uh, Matsuri, Hopper DCS. Uh, I think I know him. Uh, name tells me something at Big Poppy. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. So here, Brainiac is far, far, far in the, um, let's say, enemy territory. And... Um, He is pretty much, yeah, I mean, he's coming back because it was so close and he was in, in danger. Not, nevertheless, Asper fires on him. Um, I don't know why. Uh, he's already cold. I don't think. Oh, 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 I think. I think now that it is because, I mean, when you're cold, even from that distance, this AMRAM shouldn't really sit. Uh, but you need to be very, very fast, and he was not. Oh, and Asper... Just loses the fight uh, to the ground and goes to the ground while he was uh, defeating the Godfather's and Red Button's missiles. So a maneuver kill. Um, so we have kind of balance again because every side has lost one man in this interaction. So uh, let's say the power balance hasn't changed, uh, but nevertheless, Toro is one man more than Cobra because we saw that uh, Cobra lost one man to disconnect uh, in the early, early phase. Here I am just really worried for um, our friend Cobra uh, from G66 because he's so far in the enemy's lines and he is alone. This is this is the bad thing. Uh, so you see and he gets paid back. Um, so here, Toru is getting stronger and stronger. It's very difficult now to just fight five people with three, but everything is quite possible. Nothing is over. Yeah, it happens that you just uh, fire on your uh, own taled. Uh, you know, when you don't have AVAX, when you turn uh, very fast and... You assume that uh, an enemy is behind you somewhere and you turn back and you uh, think that this is enemy. You don't have time for IFF 
and you're sure that it's not a friendly in that sense uh, because you know where your friends are. The uh, the only one who is not who is there uh, could be their uh, enemy or your tal. Uh, but um, the risk is too big. If it's enemy, it kills you. If it's tals, you fire on it. I think uh, it is very difficult uh, without AVAX. But uh, yeah, it happens. Uh, but Tals should actually be there to just pull the other side's missiles and not your own sides. That's true. Okay. Fair 109 coming strong on Godfather. Let's see that. Uh, here we go. Godfather is between those mountains. Here in this valley. Um, Amram is, I think, is still tracking. Or not? No, it's not tracking anymore. It's got notched somehow. Yeah, we heard uh, the the sonic boom or whatever. So he's good. Godfather is good. Okay, they're doing well. They need to get together. Opa needs to get closer to these guys, and not doing the the same mistake that Cobra did, um, not going in alone. Uh, for me, the distance is too far. It's kind of uh, six, seven miles, but it's getting bigger, and then they can't help them when he's in trouble. Look at that. He's having an AMRAM on him. He just responds with another one, but let's see if he's fast enough to get rid of it. No, you see, exactly the same problem. You get too far in. You want to kill someone. You're just hyper-motivated, and then you don't help your team because you lose your own airframe without uh, killing anyone from the other side. Um, it's going to be difficult. Um, red button needs to be low. Godfather needs to be high. But this is exactly the, the other way. Red button is the one who is high, and uh, Godfather is very low. Godfather needs to come high and then give a good shot from here. You see, this one went nowhere. Um, this is also a strange thing happening with uh, DCS sometimes. For me, that missile should hit. But uh, yeah, uh, Amram is strange at the moment. So... Mustang come in on, on Godfather. Um, let's take them. Um, here we go. The missile goes out. The distance is too short. He's not going down. He's trying to go for notch, but it's not possible, I think, from that distance. Can be very difficult. But through a wonder, uh, the first MRAM didn't sit, uh, but the second one did the job. So here, one versus everyone. Parka comes in, fires on the target. He is going for the lead. The missile going for the lead and then takes down the last blue soil. So, two, four, five. Uh, two, four, four people. Okay, so there are still four. They need to go and land at least with one. Um, we have thankfully... Uh, attack view. Uh, just set it up so we can get back and take a look at uh, what has happened while these guys are uh, going for landing. So... Let's do that. Okay, here we go. I can rewind and then go a little bit earlier and the happenings and see how it has started. So let it run a little bit faster. That was the first long shots. Am I 
makes the labels a little bit smaller. Uh, from from the very beginning, uh, for for my taste, the uh, child was fired from far away. Maybe from from this distance, it would be better if they fry fired the the talc from this distance first, uh, because the talc uh, stay behind. But well, we saw in the other matches that these talc could also yeah. This is this is a better one here. So we saw in the other matches that they can also pull some missiles and can be effective. Here was a good shot from Red Button um, and also good defense by Asper. You just need the Serpentine and just uh, tired the missile. Here was the, the shot from Opan. It's old, old Tald. Uh, they just took down their old uh, own Tald. Here then two fires on the same target uh, from same distance um, could say one but it happens a bit uncoordinated then the talc took one of Kistoy's amrams so this way is all good and also here we had also fired one from Lukovi on it so this talc um, actually ate two M120s then here was the first, um, let's say, Maverick kind of flying that Brainiac went in alone and get got too close and, um, yeah, underestimated the situation. Then here, Cobra did the same thing, went in alone, kind of alone. Here he needed to come back turn right and come back to Opa and here he goes down and then we have the same situation again here with Opa okay at that moment uh, they have re realized that uh, this is a towel probably he went also for it I think it just made the eye contact um, and then same scenario happened again and again here we saw here um, Godfather went in okay at this stage you have no other choice you have you need to just uh, try to go in but you need to fire from a safe distance here was a safe distance to fire maybe on Kisto at this moment or be aware of Mustang coming on you and fire on him instead. When you don't do that, you get too close and he comes from side, uh, then you have actually no chance. See, the first one was mysteriously um, unguided. The second one said here, red button takes revenge on mustang but get killed by parka in return and everything is over so we're back to dcs now again i would say these guys going for landing and um, meanwhile um, I could take a look at a table I think that we don't have um, so many matches remaining from the group stage so to tonight uh we had three matches i think if i'm not wrong no no tonight is one match sorry I'm, I'm i'm mistaken so this is the only match tonight because i was not checking if anybody else is 
streaming anything. Um, tomorrow we have two matches uh, confirmed. Uh, one is between Team Waterfuck and uh, TMC. Uh, it's going to be streamed by Enjoy. And it's going to be at 1600 Zulu. Then we have another match at 1900 Zulu. Also between TMC and OTP. So uh, TMC is going to fly two times on the same day. And it's going to be also streamed by Enjoy. Um, so I'm going to put the Aces um, server, I mean Discord server in, in the chat if you want to follow and um, see what's happening when or you want to get notified uh, when we just announce um, a stream in the announcement of the server. And then on Sunday, we have three matches. FTQ versus Cobra. You're going to see it uh, on my channel at 1900 Zulu. Then we have again 1900 Zulu, Larpy, and Mumblerines. We don't have any streamer yet. Uh, maybe we'll find someone. We're talking about it at the moment. And the other match at 2000 uh, Zulu between OTP and CTAF that's going to be also streamed by Enjoy um, so thanks Enjoy for uh, taking over three matches this weekend uh, it is really great good F18 is going down uh, for my taste it's a little bit too dark let me bring the Gum a little bit higher. Okay, so these guys going for probably a formation landing. They're very close uh, formation uh, while uh, going for final. Uh, you see how many missiles they're uh, bringing back home. The sparrows are unfired. Uh, there's still one uh, active missile and two IRs here. Um, with the other one, I think it is also the same. Uh, has also some missiles, I think. Yeah, two IRs, three IRs even. Still there. And then we have the F-15 has two sparrows and one amram as far as i can see here and the last f18 has also two sparrows two ir so pretty much big number of missiles they're bringing back and they're close To land. Let's see if I can get a proper camera view. I'm terrible with that. Yeah, it's true. Alpha Gator writes Talts can be useful, but need to get up high fast and first to launch them not from the back um it's true um should be high you should give them the initial speed and the higher you get the longer they fly and the higher they are the the chance that they get um by a missile is is even higher so what is what is what are these guys doing? Going over water, coming back. They don't want to land. They want to land. They want to take their time. That's also okay. It seems that the first F-18 is going for final. Finally.
and soon touching down. Nice. Next Hornet coming in. Well done, Parka. And the Eagle. Nice. So with that, I think we have only Parka. Oh, we were we're not watching Parka landing. It was the. Uh, let me see. It was four hundred nine. My mistake. This is Parka coming in. And the last man has also made to land safely. Perfect. Okay. With that, we need to restart uh, the server and prepare ourselves for the second round. We'll see if we can have a three-round match tonight or uh, Toro makes to win the second uh, round two and um, and the match two uh, nil or not. Um, I'm excited. Stand by. We're going to go for a short break and then come back soon.
back to stream um, and teams are already there G66 is manning the aircraft 4F16 again and uh, two F18s uh, we hope that we are not experiencing any disconnect this time uh, it was really a shame and uh, for now uh, the standing is one uh, in favor of Toro Squadron and this is time for G66 to come back and hit strong uh, to draw and to go into the third round to have a chance to win this match uh, probably we're going to see a little bit more aggressivity here um, but um, we need to wait and see it is all speculations so what do you think guys do they make to come back and we're going to see a third round or or not here we go they taxi For the ones who are new to DCS or these kind of tournaments, this is a 6v6, as you saw. Uh, this is one of the tournaments that um, take place um, for DCS or Digital Combat Simulations. And uh, this is the first edition of ACC. Um, this is being done by Asphalite, um, and if you're interested, the Discord server is in the chat. Um, follow and make sure that you're on top of the results and information getting uh, published over the Discord server. And for sure, if you're uh, having um, any ambitions to participate in these kind of tournaments and you want to start with um, one which is uh, not... Uh, very hard to stand um, this is a good one to just get into and, and try and bring your team um, so make sure that you're on the discord ser uh, on the um, discord server yes and then um, get the information get informed of the upcoming tournament um, maybe next year happens again I'm not sure I don't know I have no info but uh, it's going to be announced and you have time to just uh, train and also prepare yourself and also apply for uh, participation and take part here and be part of uh, the these air combat tournament which is uh, pretty much fun Okay, let's check. Um, let's see if we have uh, any change of pilots. I don't see any um, red button peot again. Uh, that was the unlucky disconnect here. And let's go to the other side. Again, the uh, same thing. You need to prepare a little bit here. So let's go to the other side, which is red, uh, taking off from uh, Sukumi Babushara. And we have Pyrex. I didn't see him in the first round, so he's uh, in the second round now. Uh, Kistoy flew the first round for under nine, also flew the first uh, round. Parka, Lukovi, and Mustang. Two. So I think we have one change of pilot here. I can't remember who was flying instead of Pyrex in the first round. Or am I mistaken? But I think Pyrex has just come in uh, for um, someone else. So the aircraft uh, on the other side was unchanged. On this side is also kind of unchanged. One F-16, four F-18s, and one Strike Eagle. Okay, let's go and, oops, the other side. 
Uh, let's go and see. Just take off here. So both team haven't uh, declared uh, being ready. Uh, we have still 35 seconds of timer. Uh, when the timer um, is down to zero, uh, then doesn't matter if the teams are ready or not. The go, go, go is then uh, announced and then the first team, which is ready, can't take off. So 10, 9, 8, 6, Five, two, one, and now fights on. So, these guy even uh, started to roll one second before go go go. But I think it's okay. And here we go. This is the second round of the match between G sixty six and Toro Squadron, and you're watching. G66 takeoff. Three bags. Uh, the number of active missiles is limited to four. So they are forced to take two IRs. They can take TGP whatever with them. Talts. Uh, but no air to ground uh, armaments. I'm not checking the loadouts. I hope that it is okay. Um, because it is a little bit too short the time to just do it on the ground. But we can do it while they're uh, flying. Because there is a small bubble here around the air. And if you have the feeling that you have taken the wrong armament, you can get back and free armor refuel. But uh, as far as I can see, uh, these guys are okay. Some take sparrows uh, because of the four active uh, missiles limitation. Some take RR, IR instead. Um, so very different. Uh, depending on the taste and the skills and the strategy and tactic uh, that you have, you see here. Uh, here we have four actives, and then uh, instead of a sparrow, we have two IRs. I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, you can't combine the IRs with active, I think, and Hornet. I'm not a Hornet uh, pilot, so prob uh, probably because of that, you have two IRs on the right side. And uh, two actives on the left side. It's a little bit of uh, difficulties uh, with the with the balance, but I think you can just uh, trim it, and it's going to be no problem. Okay, so let's get back to the map and see how they are doing this time. They went straight into the combat zone in the first round and they're doing the same thing also now hopefully as i said we're gonna have no disconnect i really hope that pyrox is the first guy from toro is getting to the combat zone kisto is going to the flank the rest are following in center. And on the other side, we have a very, very compact uh, team, which are now separating. With Peyot um, going to flank a little bit and is kind of Arnom. Guys, which one do you prefer? The alternative or uh, the satellite here? Um, please let me know. I think when they get into that area, it's going to be a little bit difficult to read. 
uh, the labels when we are in uh, satellite. So come back to alternative, but let me know what you guys prefer. Yeah, they're keeping to that formation. Mustang go his own way. The rest are following. I can recognize um, what is going on here, but with the time, we will find out what these guys uh, were intending to do. Uh, on the other side, we see a clear uh, two lines two three ships um, in spread uh, probably ready to chainsaw opa with first 120 charlie on probably pyrex and here a 15 from 46,000 fires the first 120 and we take this as a 2000 knots of speed unbelievable Merely four mock here with that missile. These two are no factor. Um, it doesn't even. Need us to follow these two. I think these guys are good. I don't know if that one is. A good shot or not. We're going to see that. So we follow. We see also the target. And the white cloud background. It is Peot. Peot hasn't reacted to it yet. Now he goes out in flares. We see he's flaring. We don't see it anymore because we're so focused on that. So we can take him. And see how he's doing. He's running for his life. Losing altitude. Going fast. To outrun the missile. And he is good. Even though the missile is very, very, very close to him. But the missile has no juice to come up with him. As he's here climbing. Clearly. Okay. He's good. No casualties so far. Uh, Mustang is standing behind. Uh, he is F-18. He can, um, he has, a, let's say, longer range radar can also uh, act as an AVAX and help these guys. Here on this side, F-16s can help each other to some extent also. Uh, but they have also F-18s on this side who, who can give uh good SA to the team. Uh, this is, I think, a missile which is not intended for Brainiac, so he's uh, flying by and chasing Godfather. This is a good shot from Parka on Brainiac. Let's see. Where's Brainiac? Here it is. Okay. He's there, but the missile is not tracking anymore he's good still a 6v6 situation Parker coming back going to chainsaw with 409 Lukovi does the same with Pyrex and uh, Kisto is going his own orbit uh, to maintain the speed and the altitude he needs and Mustang come back, stays here at the very, let's say, edge of the combat zone and do the AVAX thing while the uh, G666 is doing their uh, classic chainsaw. Red button is far into the enemy lines with the long, long distance between him and Peyot, but he is good because... These guys were not prepared for him, kind of. And I don't think that this missile is 
going anywhere. He's good. He's fast enough. And dismissal will be no factor. Piot comes in, takes over the his place, and then red button has time to go back and go behind him. So they're not both sides are not very aggressive. Um, just because G6 this is one to make sure that they win this round, so have a chance uh, to win. And Toro for sure don't want to doesn't want to uh, risk much more than it's needed. Here, F18 is chasing the target over there, uh, but he's not aware of the guys who is flanking him from this side. So he should have RWR from Pyrex and should abort this. Shouldn't go in further more. Because F-18 is also not very fast. So now he has one missile, two missile. And it is very difficult to just notch two missile from two different directions. And I don't know if it's fast enough here at this stage. Oh, one goes into the... Wow, his, his, it was really, really good or lucky. One of them. But I saw him dead, to be honest. Um, I think we lost one red guy. We, I see only five here. So we lost one. We can see probably on tack view later on. But blue is still six. Red button coming in here. He's very slow. If he's going to fire, he needs to burn. Um... You need to give the missile that the energy that it needs. Okay, he burns now. He has fired one active missile so far. So now it goes for IR, I think. Or no, it's also... Yeah, he's down. He's down. He fired one here, this one. But he got took down by the other side's missile. And the other guy is also good here on this side. So he lost his soul to... Wow, look at those missiles five or six amrams were in the air two of them are for payout probably uh he could save this missile you're far away enemy is not hot uh you need to turn back and you can probably guide it and i don't know if it was under 10 miles uh probably not so but the missile even though tracking but uh, it's going nowhere two four five versus five so we have a balance here now that act of red button was definitely too much for my taste you shouldn't go down on that he could save his life mustang a bit too far from the other guys, if he fires on Brainiac now, he's good. Otherwise, he need to abort, come back, because he has no health. And he gets sandwich, and he flies further in. He needs to fire at this moment. Look at that. He probably has the enemy in... in yeah, exactly. He was sneaking in and was loitering around. Perfect. Perfect. So... I didn't pay attention to the terrain here. So the, the train is also, even though that he was so close, there was uh, a mountain between then. And uh, this is what I didn't uh, consider here. A very good act from Mustang. So he comes back and he has taken down one of the blue sides. Four versus five now. Cobra coming in on Pyrex. Here. Pyrex is higher. Oh, I missed it. Here. Here we go. Okay. Down. Ooh, it's going to get a bit hard for G66. Here we have a kind of merge, which is no merge because Kestoy continue flying um, and he's probably going to get 
godfather come from behind probably fair is at this moment sandwich kind of uh between the two blues here the three blues let's say uh Peyot is so focused on mustang and probably doesn't see lokovi the question is if lokovi is seeing him this is the question and he's high unbelievably high here so what's the deal these guys don't see each other can be here we go hey they're flying parallel to each other here is a good chance for Lukovi to take him down but he's not doing and just because he didn't do that Peyot is successful and takes down another red guy and goes back to his friends. And meanwhile, 409 is kind of in the middle of three blues trying to do his best all alone. Um, here for me, Lukovi should do a bit better. Probably he didn't have uh, RWR. Uh, they didn't have a say because uh, Fair Hunter 9 was looking in the other direction and his other friend also looking in the other direction and there is no AVAX. So that is the, 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 the difficulty. So this is also from far away on a cold target. Come on, how many missiles do you have? Uh, only IRs, why you shoot the last active missiles you have from that distance on a cold target? I don't know. If I stay with 409 or with Lokovi. I go with Lokovi. Uh, let's see if he's doing um, good thing here. Yeah, he has a good chance to just pull a little bit on the stick, go for lead. He has the AOA he needs. And then now, now is a good time. He has a lead. Why does he leave him alone and give him his six? He has a good chance to fire on him. Um, one of those IRs. And he brings himself into that situation. Come on. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. We stay with them. I know over there, the other guys are probably also merged, but um, prefer to stay with them. What is with F-16? F-16 has one more IR. The first IR went to the um, flares. So he has only one IR and we will see what he's going to do with it. F-18 with that number of IRs is in a very, very better position. But the problem is that he first needs to go on his six, which is unsuccessful and just lose the fight to them. Okay, Fur came back. Fur came back in that minute and uh, helped Lukovi uh, and took down one of the other guys, but he is now facing two others on him, and the, the third one was coming. He had no time. He just turned back to Opa. Opa was very, very close distance and fired on him and, um, yeah, did the job. So, well done. I assume that these guys have enough fuel uh, to go and land. And if they do that, then we're going to have uh, a draw here so far and we're going to see a third round. Um, let's go and check what's happened on tech view uh, while these guys are uh, returning to the base. So, I rewind and it started from the beginning. So, Kistoy went um, in flank, kind of. Mustang went for AVAX duty. The first missile exchanges. I didn't see Tal this round. Uh, they prefer to bring uh, missiles with them. Uh, 
probably they don't know if the towel was uh, effective enough or not and they also fired on their own towel so um, they thought maybe it's better to just take missiles um, instead of towels this time in the first exchanges nothing has happened Kisto is up there red button is aware of him chasing him as long as he's safe then they exchange with 409 both are okay Parka fires on Peyot. Here we have also one situation between Pyrex and Brainiac. Brainiac was very close, but here also for my test, very lucky. Uh, look at that missile. I mean, it was tracking kind of, but nevertheless, none of them hit. Especially this one should hit. So, yeah, weird thing. Um, look at this. Look at this missile. This should hit. Uh, I mean, both of them. Look at that. Impossible. Oh my god, ED. Fix it. So. Five versus six. The last year, I think. Parka, if I'm not wrong, yes. Uh, Brainiac took him down. And Parka's missile ex exchange went into the ground, I think, here. Oh, exactly. That was a missile which uh, didn't hit. So here, the dominance of G66 has begun. They went into offensive, wanted to take advantage of their one more aircraft. Godfather on Mustang, I think, or no, it was on Kisto. They wanted to take down the F-15. F-15 is high and fast, needs to just turn his back to the missile and uh, push on the throttle. Uh, for my test, too slow here. He was afraid of breaking the wings, but you see, it's still faster than the missile. Look at that. Wow. But this, this is again one of the stuffs. I don't think that it went for the chaffs. No, never. Come on. I mean, hey, this should also hit. Okay. Uh, but at the end, you know, it get balanced. Uh, it is a for or against each side. Doesn't matter. So once I'm in uh, pure lock, uh, the other time, uh, my opponent. Well done here from Pyrex. Pulled the missile down into the mountain by going down here. Invert and fast. And this was too much G for, for the missile. But nevertheless, a shot from high altitude and you know, decent speed. Look the way that the AMRAM needs to go and the G that it pulls here. 15G, kind of, 14.8, but still fast, well, 3 Mach, unbelievable. Bit overpowered, F15, I would say. Here the missile has a still 1.6 Mach, 1.4. Still faster than that F-16. F-16 is only 0.78. Come on. But the air is too dense. And the rest we saw, I believe.
We just missed uh, the engagement of fur up there. So what we don't miss the landing either. It was the moment that Lukovi could bring down Peyot. I just pause it here. Um, you see, Mustang is looking in this direction. Fair is looking in that direction. And this way, Lukovi doesn't see Peyot there. And that's why that happened. Uh, we go up there and see what Fair was doing because we were missing it. So he was here. Ah, I fired two. And the other one come came from Kistoy. They fired the same target. Kistoy were probably so high that uh couldn't see these two guys. They were flying low. So fired on him. They should have uh, probably communicated better. Or maybe they didn't also see each other. The F-15 cannot share data link. That's a problem. And here, what happened to him? It also killed. He just, yeah, probably broke a wing. I don't know. Yeah. So, strange thing. He was out of the game. And then Fer decided here to stay there. I would come back to Lukovi at this stage here, come behind him and uh, get back together. But he decided to stay there, come from the other side. Godfather didn't see him. These guys didn't see him. Uh, how could it be? Look at that. How couldn't they see each other? Uh, okay. And then he just runs to help Peyot because they have communicated. And um, he all, was also successful here. But here we go. He kills Peyot. But get yeah, taken down by Opa. And then it was over. So with that, we're at the end of the round two. And as I hoped, we're going to see a third round. And for that, we're doing another short break. We start the server. Team's getting into the server again and man their aircrafts. And we're going to be back. So for now, for sure, I can't uh, change the... Um, blue team score and do one one out of it and send you to the short break don't go anywhere we're going to be back in two three minutes see you
off the Bravo from 207. 13 miles. Fox one, Fox one. Oh, Jesus. I knew that we're going to see three rounds tonight. Uh, something told me. And I know what quality G66 has. And uh, Toro, on the other side, uh, was not to underestimate. Um, this is the one um, special and interesting thing when two teams of quite same skill um uh, going to um confrontation uh you cannot predict uh the result and uh the um happenings uh in the match uh it is quite interesting you most of time or mostly you see three round match this is what i like this is what probably also the uh, people in the uh, stream like, I don't know if the pilots like that or not, they probably uh, prefer it to nil um, something very quick, but uh, I think they also have fun and they enjoy it. So uh, servers uh, restarted, I uh, mean the, the mission is uh, restarted again, uh, pilots are also back, we have again four Hornets on Toro side and uh, two Falcons. I can see enough of these beautiful skins. Like it hasn't changed since years, since I can remember. Uh, Toro has it. And um, it's cool. And for the other side, uh, let's sneak in and see what or if there is any change of types and pilots on the other side brainiac godfather 
Opa, Cobra, Peyot, and Red Button. Uh, same type of aircraft, nothing has changed. And to be fair, we go to Toro's side and watch them take off this time. Uh, here we don't also have, I think, a pilot chain. Oh, Asper's. Uh, was it flying last round, Asper? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um. Mm hmm Okay. So, Kistoy, I miss. We don't have F-15 anymore. So, Kistoy went out with F-15 and Aspar came in. Probably he had a problem because uh, he got disconnected and it could be that it's a hardware or internet issue and he's not able to come back. So, that's why Aspar... Uh, came in, uh, probably is not feeling that comfortable with uh, a 15. That's why he's uh, taking his special aircraft, which is F-16, or they have change of tactic. I don't know. Uh, I read the discussion in the chat uh, if the size matter. Um, well, sometimes. But edits, don't be mad. Don't be mad. Okay, um, we have still two minutes of countdown. Um, both teams are not ready according to the script, which is saying. Um, so I have a little bit of probably time here to get a good view here or bad view. It depends. To watch these guys taking off. Why that far distance on the runway between these two guys? I don't know. Uh, these two sections. And the Hornet with those lights, you can see them from miles, especially when you're flying or uh, having a VR headset on. Forty-five seconds. Still, both teams haven't declared ready. Who's gonna win? Big question. I'm neutral here. Um, I wish we see a good round, a nice fight, and at the end, the one who deserves a win. It's very, very close, and I think um, both teams are a bit more careful, typical for a third round. Two seconds and fight's on. Here we go. Yeah, I need I need to ban West really. I didn't know West Gogi is our West. Um, otherwise, I have done that long before. Kidding, kidding, mate. Okay, here we go. Hornets coming in. Here comes the insects.
Beautiful. I need to check and see if there is a poll uh, functionality in Twitch where we can run polls on who wins the round or things like that. I think we saw it um, long ago um, in Seital, if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's go to the map. Mm. Close formation as last time, the other side. Also, there is no Kistoi going into flank. One, two ship and the rest following here we have very very closer act makes it hard for the other side to resolute the targets to certain uh, point of time or distance. Okay, by now they all should be in a combat zone. Yeah, blue is entering altogether. Uh, red is already in. And if you're th asking yourself because uh, you're not familiar with uh, this kind of tournaments or aces, um, uh, ace, uh, ACC, sorry, um, in the ACC tournament, uh, we don't have a typical bubble. We have a combat zone, which is uh, kind of... Um, not round um, and uh, we have two lines one is the border line the other one is the hazard line uh, once you pass over it uh, or fly over it then you get a notification from the script that you're leaving the combat zone and you have time to just turn back so uh, now we have the start of the separation here on this side they're going into the two, three ship formation with spread of miles and also uh, the wingman goes into trail so that they have enough uh, distance and the space to do the grinder. Uh, from the other side again, Mustang goes for AVAX duty. And here we go. We have the first 120 Charlie off Asper. Not going anywhere. 33,000 high. And I don't know how fast. Probably, yeah, 440 knots uh, in the dive. So it was probably not fast as he fired. Or at least same as now. So it is okay, but it's not high enough, it's not fast enough, it's not close enough. But you need to do that to just um, 
Yeah, you know, don't let the other side um, ingress and keep them away. Uh, you see here, Tor is a bit more uh, progressed into the combat zone. They are at Bullseye already, where I see here much more uh, defensiveness on the G66 side. They want to, all of them want to be victorious here. Um, but you need to just also uh, consider that Toro was all the time fighting with five and had uh, no sixth guy at uh, disposal. It is quiet in some regions. These both teams coming from Europe, uh, Taurus, Spanish, uh, G66 is German. I don't know why they're flying uh, that late in, in the afternoon, but it's, I think, good for uh, U.S. skies, um, our uh, North American or South American uh, friends uh, who probably don't make to watch uh, a tournaments live and see the replay just because it's the time that they're working usually um, but some some matches happen at very very strange time we had also 2 a.m um, zulu time a match um, a couple of days ago and another tournament so <laughs> Thanks for follow, mate. Appreciate it. Wipe SSPM. Welcome to the show. Otava45. Thanks for following, guys. Um, so they're very careful. These guys are very careful. Um, nobody wants to be the first uh, to lose one. And But I think it has happened while I was... No, it's not. So we have a steel 6v6. Okay, I'm, I'm stupid. I was uh, distracted uh, a little bit. I'm excited because I'm, I'm kind of new. I mean, I can't say new, but... I haven't had much time to just play around with Twitch and all these um, functionalities and things and alerts and things like that. And I'm really um, a stranger to that. So I played a little bit with that and, and found a couple of alerts and I'm pretty much excited that my first alert worked. So I was a little bit distracted. So here, I don't think it's... No, he is good. Okay. One, two, three. So what they what these guys are doing, the, the Torah is doing it. again um, a shorter grinder. G six sixty sixty six is doing a bit longer grinder, took more time to go back and forth. And these guys are testing each other at the moment. They're not uh, getting too aggressive, they're not getting too passive. Um, they are active, but they are really, really saving their airframes and missiles from time to time to fire something, uh, which is not good because they're flying slowly. They're not burning uh, most of the time, only when they're in danger like that. But most of the time they're flying very slow to save fuel. They assume that it's going to get uh, going to be a long run this time and they need that fuel. So they're saving. You see here, red button going back and probably go off burner any soon. Look over here, successfully pull the missile into the ground. So these guys all stay in distance 
uh, trying, um, but are not really, really threatening each other so far. But as soon as the first or two uh, or second uh, airframe is shut down, then it's going to go fast. Everything's going to go fast. Here, Brainiac would be advised to just turn back. I think it's not firing this uh, because this is also not going anywhere. Now he is going to chase Parka. But the problem is if he's doing that and Aspar comes behind him, uh, which he's not doing and he is lucky, then it would be very difficult. Now he is he's a very, very good position. I mean, uh, it was just like uh, Russian roulette and... Uh, it worked for him. It could really turn to uh, to a bad situation for him. Even though this missile went into the uh, mountain, he has a very, very good situation here uh, to capitalize on the opponent. He should stay with him. Yeah. Come on, he lost him. He's in, uh, it's 2 o'clock. Probably he has another missile he needs to fly from. Yeah. And he's, he's dead. Okay, you see the first casualties are coming in. Opa is good. One, two, three, four. Four on the blue side, the five on the red side. So we, we just lost a couple of people and missed the scene. Here, Asper. Oh, well, come on. You, you could actually get rid of that missile. It was not, not that bad. Uh, people sometimes underestimate the missile and say, okay, I'm fast enough. Uh, let's fly straight. Uh, don't um, start uh, serp doing serpentine or pulling G. Uh, and this is the result. So they had this advantage of five. They played out and then they're again balanced. Lukovi. Good pilot. He is versus two other guys. He fires one missile. He continues because he thinks he has this marvelous situation, but now it is too much. When two guys are coming to him and get um, hot again, then better to just drag them back. Mustang. Mustang can help him. Is he aware of Piot threatening him on the other side or not? He fires from top to bottom. Also coming down, see if it is hitting here. F6 didn't, didn't sit. Mustang want to come back here. They're on the right side. You need to look right. Come on. These guys don't see each other. Can't be. Mate, he's down on your 2 o'clock. He's so focused on... Oh, no. Okay. He was focused on Godfather that he didn't see Opa. Uh, but at, at the end, it's uh, traded again. Uh, doesn't change anything in the balance, but uh, now Toro is 3 and uh, G66 also, so the same balance is established again. Lukovi, very good chance to capitalize on his opponent here, which is Peyot. Come on, he's on Peyot. He doesn't see him. He didn't see him. How could it be? He's on the other side of the mountain, but nevertheless, oh, he was probably out of the radar scope. So, And Fair 109 was so low at the altitude that couldn't also see Peyot. Okay. These guys need to get together as soon as possible. Peyot should be a threat for Pyrex, and Cobra should be a third for threat for Fair 109 while they're gathering each other. Opa fires on Pyrex. Pyrex counts with it or not? Let's see. 
is diving. Now is getting the RWR. He's diving with the missile. He need to dive even more aggressively. A little bit more aggressively. Come on. Now. Okay. Much better now. Okay. Missile is tired. Juice is out. Oops. Ah, we just lost one blue. We, we just didn't see. But we can see an attack you later on. Three red versus two blue. Okay, here we go. Where, what are Fur and Lukovi doing while Pyrex is facing two guys here? What are they doing? What are they doing up there? I need to get together quicker. I need to help this guy. Cobra. Oh, Cobra lost the fight to the Trees probably. So doesn't look good. Good look for G sixty six. First getting back all of a sudden. Why Lukovi also, Pyrex, they wanna they wanna draw the fight to this area that they're very close to their uh, base to RTB. Or let this guy run uh, out of fuel. Why you guys are three or there's or probably. Piot is so low that they don't see where he is. So they're looking for him all the time. Let's see if Pyrex see him. Piot. How far are these guys from each other? Six miles and all looking. Returning in 360 and scanning the area. Peyot decides to turn back and fight instead of running away, getting speed to give a good shot. He has only IRs. He needs to be close and he needs to be fast. Okay. Enemy is out of sight. Now we have a long range Amram. He needs to just run for his life. He is fast, he is light, because he has no tanks anymore. But it gets hit. Yeah, it was not enough. That's what I said. You forget to do serpentine the last couple of seconds when the missile is very close to you. And with that, Toro survived with three airframes. Forty fifth, guys. I think we need to talk. Yeah, Hopper. Um, I think Asphalite needs to intervene here and make a decision. Unbelievable. You you guys are so bad uh, that my auto mode even filters you.
Thanks, Edit. I hope you had fun. Thanks, guy, for joining. Um, even though these guys are getting back home, I'm not sure if uh, all of them can RTB, to be honest. And we need to wait and see. But it seems that they have enough fuel. So it should be no problem. But I still want to wait and uh, don't uh, spread the the point <laughs> you guys are funny so i just uh gave you an overview of the upcoming matches uh this weekend there will be a lot of matches. This is the, these are the last matches of the group stage. We have one, two, three. Uh, without the the match tonight, we have one, two, three, four, five matches over the weekend, and with that, the group stage is done. And uh, we will see uh, which of two teams of every group is proceeding to the. Second stage, then for sure, uh, the quality of the matches um, will automatically rise um, because then you have better teams in the tournament and uh, we need to unfortunately say goodbye to half of teams. Um, I'm really curious to see how the draw is going to be and who is uh, going to play whom um, but I'm sure that we have even more exciting matches uh, in the next round I, I love this one tonight definitely um, it was a very good match I enjoyed um, I think we slowly can congratulate Toro and Dan also uh, give kudos to G66 guys uh, for flying that uh, disciplined and also um, this far I don't know if they, they are leaving the tournament or not I'm just saying that because of the result of this match I need to take uh, a look at the table um, it could be that these two guys are proceeding to next level I'm not sure. I think that um, I don't think I can see that uh, Toro just lost the first match uh, to 45th uh, team and the second match of Toro they just they could beat 51st and this is the third one they win so they have two wins and one loss for the g66 they lost to 51st they where are they they also lost to 45th and they also lost tonight so g66 i think has uh, no chance to proceed to the second stage and for the other team of this group where who was in the this group 51st so 51st has one win here uh they lost the 45th and then they have they lost also to Toro. So Toro and 45th gonna be the two teams who are proceeding to the second round from that group. Okay, so congratulations to Toro. And indeed, we need to say goodbye to G66 and 51st.
while these guys are doing their last landing of the stage one i would like to thank uh, the audience uh, who just turn on and and uh communicate and populate the chat um especially the 45th guys were uh, quite um, curious to see uh, who's going to proceed with them together to the next round and um, make sure that you follow at least uh, that you get notified of the upcoming uh, streams of mine um, i'm not only doing the acc tournament also some upcoming tournaments and in between also tomorrow is uh, something i stream but not here in this channel so uh the next time I'm, I'm i'm live you get a notification but if you want you can also go to the um let me check here okay uh go to the dcs uh discord server sorry uh of, of uh, acc i put the direct link here again in the chat if you're not yet uh part of that you can just join and uh, get the information from first hand so these guys are preparing for landing. Airspeed brakes are out. I'm awful in camera view. I'm just doing what I can to get a proper view here. These guys were going for an overhead break or what are they doing yeah kind of okay so here is the the runway we'll go for that and come in for landing from the other side all the way around and then the hornet goes in the final the other hornet is even closer to runway is going to land yes ah too much nose down i don't know who's good with the speed i can get the curve all good so one valid landing is enough the next corner is coming Here we go. And touchdown. And the F-16 is coming in too. Last one. And with that, script is starting to count and shut down the server. So thank you again, guys. Uh, thanks and kudos to both teams. Um, it's going to be an excited weekend with the rest of five matches. It's probably a couple of uh, deciding matches in it, uh, which really has an effect on the standing of their groups. We went through the standing of uh, the group that you're watching. I hope you're having a fun 
weekend, especially when you fly uh, the event tomorrow, Persian Golf 1997. Uh, have fun there and um, see you soon. And thanks for watching. Thank you.